Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Robin Elms. Today I'm going to be talking about some investment tips. I'm not an expert on investments. These are just some of the investment tips that I've heard repeatedly on videos and also investment websites. Generally, investments are less volatile over a longer period of time. For example, three to five years or more. So unless you are an expert on investments, plan to keep your investments over a longer period of time. It's a good idea to diversify your investments over various different industries and also different companies. This is to give your portfolio a better chance of surviving because one or more of your companies might have performed badly but then there might have been other companies that have performed quite well so overall your portfolio does not take such a big hit it's basically like saying don't put all your eggs in one basket it's also a good idea to bear in mind the future because past performance is not an indication of future performance for example in the past oil has performed really well and it's made a lot of people millionaires and billionaires however with fossil fuels running out and more people becoming more sustainability focused we are being forced look to more renewable alternatives such as hydro, solar, wind, biomass and more. Just think of Tesla. Electric vehicles are the future and it's no surprise that their share prices keep rising. This might be more obvious but ideally you want to be buying your shares at the lowest possible price to make the maximum possible profit. If you've got an outstanding debt and you've also not got a savings part for emergencies, now would not be a good time for you to invest because it's very likely that the interest rate on your debt is more than any potential returns on your your investment. The other thing you need to bear in mind is that although you obviously want the value of your investments to go up in value, they could go down in value. So if you do invest your money when you should really be paying off your debt and the value of that goes down, you're going to be very disappointed in yourself. Do not invest any of your money if you've got outstanding debts or if you haven't got a savings pot for maybe emergencies or even a house deposit. Remember, investments are very different to savings. Investments can go up or down in value, whereas savings don't go down in value. They generally go up in value depending on the rate of inflation and also the interest rate on the savings account that you have. Always remember that your capital is at risk. Do not invest more money than you are comfortable with losing. For me, that is around five to 10% of my monthly income. Once I've gotten rid of all of my interest added debt and I've saved a decent amount for emergencies and a little bit for the future, such as a house deposit. Investing can become an alternative form of gambling if you're not careful. If you invest more money than you are comfortable with losing, you might invest more of your money to try and get back that money that you might have lost. And it could mean investing your money at the wrong time. It's good to start investing your money when you're young so that you don't bring the fear of investing into adulthood when you might have more commitments such as a mortgage or children and you'd have too much fear of losing your money. Don't be scared by the ups and downs of your investment value as this is the very nature of investments. If you faff about it you'll give yourself a heart attack. When I first started investing my money I would check it maybe every five minutes to see where it's at. All of the ups and downs don't matter because you're in it for the long run. Aim to look at the bigger picture over a longer period of time rather than on a daily basis because you do need to have a life as well. When you're new to investing, it's a good idea to invest your money into industries you know more about because you're more likely to be in the know. This doesn't mean investing your money into companies you've heard of before. Just because you've heard of them or they are a well-known brand doesn't mean they're going to be a good investment. I'm quite passionate about the planet and the people in it. So that's why for me personally, it's a good idea to invest my money into companies that are trying to make the world a better place because I'm more likely to know what's happening in these sort of industries. If I was to invest my money into industries I did not know about or wasn't really that interested in, I might buy at the wrong time or sell at the wrong time because I don't know what's going on in that industry. You might work in banking. You might have some level of insight that an everyday person might not have and that might benefit you when you're investing your money into banking. So being well read on the industry is extremely important and of course it's always a bonus if you already have quite a lot of knowledge in that particular industry. For me personally, if an investment mentions tobacco, oil, aeroplanes or anything that I know is a detriment to the planet, I don't invest in it because that is not in line with my values. I do sometimes invest in companies that I've not heard about but they're usually in the same investment industry that I know about. Whenever I'm looking at investments I always look at past performance. Generally if it goes up in value that's a big tick for me. I also look at if it provides dividend, if the turnover has increased over the past six months to a year as well as a few other things. Avoid companies that are new to the market. They are very unstable and often get overvalued at the start when everyone thinks it's going to be the next penny stock that makes them rich. Then reality sets in and the price of the stock drops dramatically in value to a more realistic price. If you're new to investing don't don't do day trading. It's far better if you just get yourself a bunch of stocks and shares and keep them for the long run. They are just some of the investment tips that I've learned along the way. I'm sure there are many more. Please let me know in the comments below your investment tips that you've learned. Thank you for watching. Sending you peace and love. Goodbye.